Welcome back to this episode of Vienna Now. And today we're gonna do everything that's morbid and creepy in Vienna. We're gonna go to the Central Cemetery, we're gonna visit the Mad House Tower, we're gonna go to the Imperial Crypt, and we're gonna start here at the Funeral Museum. So come with me and let's check out everything to get creeped out with in Vienna. So I'm standing in Vienna's Funeral Museum and I have a guide and a guest today, Helga, who's going to explain the museum, the morbid history of the Viennese funeral tradition. The museum tells the story of uh, a person of a deceased uh, that, is, uh, that dies, that is mourned, uh, that is uh, transported to the cemetery, buried and remembered. So these are the different steps that are explained in the museum. I would say we just have a look at some of the objects yes. we can find here. Let's do that. Okay, so here we have one of these very special objects, uh, which is a knife okay. that was stabbed in people's heart if they wanted to be a 100% dead. Because people were so afraid being buried alive. So basically, after you were dead, just to make sure you were really dead, yeah. they had this reusable death knife. Mm -hmm. So this might be the closest I've ever been to an actual coffin in my life. Oh. What are we standing by? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, this is a very special coffin <laughs> Okay. Uh, because it's a reusable coffin. You can see the flats here that can be opened. The coffin was lowered into the grave and then the coffin was opened and pulled up again and reused. We're going to spend a little bit of time right now in Vienna's central cemetery, the Zentralfriedhof, and I have with me Gerhard, who is a specialist and an expert about everything that is creepy and strange and morbid in Vienna and Viennese culture. Maybe you can start by telling us a little bit about the cemetery and what makes it special. Yeah, it's a big one. It's the second biggest in Europe after Hamburg, and it's about three million dead people here. I'm wondering if you think, or do you think it's true that the Viennese and Viennese culture is truly morbid? What does that mean, or is this just a cliche? I think rather Viennese people cannot be happy, really. It comes from the Habsburg dynasty, because mm -hmm. the Habsburg dynasty, the, the, the burial, the death, was so important. And the Catholic Church said to the people every Sunday service, when you're dead, you get the reward. So mm -hmm. during life, and if life is bad and you suffer and so on, that means God tests you. You're lucky when you have to suffer. This sign is pointing us. Let's go. All right. Yeah, these are now the, some of the old musicians, which okay. partly have been in other cemeteries, but they brought them to here to pep up the cemetery. Okay. Brahms, Strauss, Schubert and Beethoven. And they have no idea where the bones of Mozart are. They know the cemetery, but that's, all, that's it. And so they created a, a memorial, a monument, but there's nothing underneath. But basically under all those, the all actual the others, composers are... The, the, the actual composers are decomposed here. <laughs> Gerhard, thank you so much for today. It is sadly time for us to be dearly departed from one another. We're heading to the Madhouse Tower now. Thank you so much. Ciao. Have a nice day. Ciao. Bye. This is a 
officially the creepiest place <laughs> I've ever been in in my life. I think so. We're in the Madhouse Tower, or what used to be known as the Fool's Tower. I'm with Edward, who's the curator of this amazing space. <laughs> it was um, built in 1784 by Emperor Joseph II, and it was originally a mental asylum. And since 1971, the museum was moved inside here. So since then, the pathological collection is in the Nachenturm. With this history and everything yeah. you're telling me about this building, because I've seen a lot, are there ghost stories? <laughs> Have people seen ghosts, but honestly? <laughs> we had some ghost hunters here, okay. and I've spent myself spent a lot of evenings and nights here. <laughs> but unfortunately, it, it was very calm here. This is the stomach of a former patient from the Nachenturm. You can still see the, the fiber inside, the, the, the straw and, and the horse hair. And he uh, ate his complete interior of the cell and died from it. At that time, the most people died in the mental asylum or at um, the birth clinic. Those were the, <laughs> Those were the times. Yeah. The good old days. <laughs> No episode about a morbid Vienna would be complete without visiting here, underneath the Capuchin Monastery, is the Imperial Crypt. We have over 400 years of Habsburg history here. All of the rulers, their spouses, and their children were laid to rest here. The tombs are cryptic, amazing, full of a lot of detail, and we're going to take a look around and see what is the most beautiful and strangest thing that we can find here. Hast Menschen Sötens Frieden sein, gerne resonieren und jammern tan. I'm lucky enough to be with Mr. Grubitz, who is the director of the Imperial Crypt. What are we standing in front of right now? We are standing in front of the sarcophagus of Maria Theresia and her husband, Franz Stefan from Lothringen, which is the largest sarcophagus we have here in the crypt. It's a highlight. Uh, of Baroque artwork. This is uh, Emperor Franz Joseph uh, lying between his wife Sissi, which everyone in Europe knows, uh, and his son Rudolf, who died in a very tragic way. He assassinated himself and the uh, well known Mary Vetchera. So that was our morbid episode of Vienna Now. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time for a totally different adventure and a different time. Until then, have nice dreams, nicer nightmares. We'll see you. And good night. Help! Let me out. It's over. Hey, come on. Guys. Can't do this forever. <laughs>